Um, so day to day, uh, we'll get vehicles in, customers will bring them in with issues. Um, they'll fill out a 4355 form. It's pretty much like all the issues that are wrong with it. And then we'll go through an inspection of the vehicle. Um, anything that we find, we write down on it. And then after that, it'll come to the main shop and we'll fix whatever we can. And then whatever we find parts for that are, or whatever we find that needs parts ordered for it, then we'll order the parts and then gets put in non-mission capable status until the parts come in. Once parts come in, then we'll repair it and then send it back out to the customer. Uh, most challenging part of our job is pretty much waiting for parts usually. Um, a lot of times we'll get stuff in, we'll get a vehicle in that's like, could be a pretty simple fix that you could get out in a day. However, we don't have the part, like especially in the deployed environment, you're waiting a month or two or maybe even three months to get those parts in. And then uh, when it takes that long to get the parts, you really don't get a chance to, if you order the wrong part or that part's not what it needed, that vehicle's not getting fixed in this rotation because it's going to take another three months to get it. So those are kind of like the main issues with deployments and stuff like that. Uh, so my biggest accomplishment has been uh, getting coined by the commander of the 3rd Air Force. Um, he was working on a bunch of vehicles for the PJs and um, it got routed up to the third commander and he came down and coined me for that. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. I love being deployed. Um, I really like working on stuff, so um, being deployed is really easy for me because it's a lot more high speed and then uh, just gives me a chance to shine because it's what I like doing, you know. It'd be pretty difficult for the base to function without vehicle maintenance. Um, we touch vehicles for every unit and so uh, like bobtails, if, if the bobtails go down, planes can't get, you can't get age equipment out to the planes. If the MV4 tow tractors go down, you're not towing planes in and out. Um, all the other units use their vehicles like uh, supply, can't get any uh, shipments in and out without flatbeds. So it's like, it directly touches almost everything on base. If we weren't here, it would be pretty difficult.